Christ is in our midst. I'd like the children to come up, please. And you can just sit on one of these yellow stickies around here. Okay, you can sit on that one. Good to see you all. So I had a, I had a question. I had a question for you. Have you ever heard Have you ever heard the story of the little engine that could? Have you heard that story? The little engine that could. You haven't heard that story? All right. Well, I'll tell you that story, okay? There was this little engine. Actually, before the little engine, there was this train. And this train was, was coming down the train tracks. And then the engine, the part that pulls the train, it broke down. It needed a new engine, especially because there was a big mountain coming up. There was a big mountain. And how is this train going to get over the mountain? So the train actually, it had pulled up into a train station. And they asked one of the big engines, one of the big engines, will you pull the train over the mountain? And the big engine said, no, I've got other things to do. I've got other trains to pull. I'm not going to pull you over that mountain. Asked another train about it. And kind of the same type of answer. Then there was this little engine, a little engine. He wasn't really meant to pull big trains. He was kind of a switcher at the train station. He just moved little trains from one tracks to the other. That was his main job. But he was the only engine left and the train said, will you pull me? I have to get over the mountain. But this is a little, tr little engine and it's a big train. And so the little engine said, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. And so the little engine hooks himself up to this long train and they go up to the mountain and the mountain is there and he starts pulling the train up the mountain. He's going well and then he starts slowing down. He starts go, slowing down and the, and the little engine saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And as he's going up the, as he's going up the mountain, he's, it's harder because there's a big train behind him and it's kind of steep. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And he finally makes it to the top of the, to the mountain. I think I can, I think I can. He's just about there and he makes it over. And then he gets over and he's pulling the train and the hardest part is done. I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could as he starts going down the mountain. That's the story of the little engine. So if anybody ever asked you before, have you ever heard the story of the little engine that could? Now you can say yes. So this story has a meaning behind it, okay? It's a nice story, that's one thing, but it's also a story that has a meaning behind it. What I mean by a meaning behind it, it teaches us an idea. It's teaching us an idea. The idea is, even if we're small, if we try hard and really believe that we can do something, perhaps we can do it. If we think we can't do it, we probably won't do it. But if we think that we can do it, we have a much better chance of doing it, okay? So we should be thinking, I think I can, like the little engine. So do you understand the story and then the meaning behind the story? So we have a story, but the story also teaches us about, about thinking we can do something and not being afraid to try. Okay, that's what the meaning of the story is. We call stories that not only are stories, but teach us an idea like that one, we call them parables. Parables, can you say that parable? Parable, parable. That's the favorite way that Jesus liked to teach. He liked to teach using parables, stories that have a special meaning that we can learn from. And so today we have heard this parable of Jesus. He talks about a sower who was sowing seed. Now I know 
Uh, I think some of you were in our uh, young class yesterday and uh, our kids' corner, and we talked. Uh, Miss Grace was talking about the sower and the seeds. So a sower is one who spreads his seed over the ground. And this is how a sower did, did it. Imagine you've got a, some, you're at the beach, okay? And you take a handful of sand and you throw the sand out like this, just so it goes every place. Try that, okay? But don't hit your brother when you do it. Take some sand and just throw it out like that. It's almost like you have a frisbee, that type of throw. Okay, and so the sand would go every place. Well, that's how a sower, if you can picture it, that's how a sower would sow the seed. That's how he would broadcast or, or plant, throw the seed out. So it would really go in lots of places. He, didn't, he wasn't very careful about it. I'll put one seed here. I'll put one seed here. That's not how he did it. He would take the seed and he would throw the seed like that. Now, the... The story said that some of the seed fell on the path, some of the seed fell on the rocky ground. Do you remember where any of the other seed fell? In the where? In the leaves, yeah, in the thorns, in the leafy, bushy area. Some of the, th some fell there, Emmanuel. And some fell on the good and soft soil. Okay, so some landed on the path. You guys are great listeners. Could you have named the four places where the seed... Good, I'm glad. So, so some fell on the path. Some fell uh, in the uh, rocky ground. Some fell in the leafy, thorny, bushy areas. And some fell on the good and on the good ground. Now... Just like in the story of the little engine, this means something. The sower, the seed, is the teachings of Jesus. Think about that. The things that Jesus teaches, his message, that's the seed. The sower, the one that's throwing the seeds, he's the one who teaches the method? It's kind of like he's throwing seed, okay? And he doesn't throw it just to one place at a time. He kind of throws it every place. And, and the ground, the good ground, are those who hear, who hear, who are listening to the message. Okay, if you're listening to the message, that's like the seed falling on the good ground. And if the seed falls on the good ground, we know it's going to grow. And if God's message falls on listening ears, then God's message helps us to know what God wants for us in our life. We, we, we grow in a spiritual way. We grow in joy and happiness and abilities to help others. We are stronger in life in many different ways. So let's recap for a minute. In this story, it's a parable. It's about a sower sowing seeds onto the ground. What are we pretending that the seed is? What are we pretending that the seed is? The teachings of Jesus, okay? Jesus' message. Who is the sower? Who are we pretending, because it's a parable, who are we pretending then the sower is? Well, Jesus is because he teaches and everyone who teaches, everyone who teaches Jesus' message, it's like he's throwing the seeds, okay? He's, he's teaching the message. And what's the ground again? Where's the good ground? What's the good ground? Can you remember what the good ground is, Emmanuel? The people who listen and get the message. 
Okay, the people who listen and get the... So if we want to be good ground, if we want God's seed, His message to be deeply planted in us, what do we need to do? What do we, if we want to be the good ground, we have to do what? We have to be good. We, we have to listen. We have to be the listeners. Okay? All right. Let's stand up and pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, you teach us in parables. They're beautiful stories that we can remember and think about. And we also know, Lord, that in these parables, you give a special message to us. Each parable is kind of like a seed. And especially this parable about the seeds teaches us about your love for us and the message you have for us to help us to grow stronger every day. Help us, Lord, to listen to your teachings, to be good ground in which your seeds grow so well. We give you glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is in our midst. Okay, you can go back to your spots.